Welcome back. With me today is uh, Lynn Rosentein from the wonderful Reformed Temple of Laguna Woods. Uh, really what we're talking about today is the Jewish Food Festival that you had last year. It's coming back up again in, uh, well, just about a week and a half or so on June right. 2nd. Uh, I recall last year it was so popular that you folks began to run out of food, right? We ran out of food, we ran out of places to sit, we ran out of parking, and we've mm -hmm. handled all of those pro problems this year. Well, the food's the most important. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell me about this uh, in general. You've got um, uh, people that are bringing in dishes, are you? No, it's, um, we get brisket from Yolanda. Okay. And we're getting pastrami from Tommy Pastrami. Oh, they're good pastrami, And we make yes. lox and bagel sandwiches. Okay. And uh, all beef hot dogs that we barbecue there. And a lot of people in our temple are baking and we're selling their baked goods. In addition to that, we have um, donated baklava from the Greek bistro and also cheese Danish from Chopin Bakery. Oh, wow. So that's what we're doing primarily. We also have this year something called knishes. Yes, I know. Okay, yeah. good. But they're potato filled. Right, right. Pastries. There's different kinds, right? Right. Yeah. And um, we have. Most of the Jewish organizations in the village are participating and they're selling food as well. National Council of Jewish Women is selling homemade fudge and they're selling halva, which is a sesame seed okay. kind of candy. Yes. Um, Ort is selling homemade noodle kugel and Chabad is selling homemade small challahs, egg breads, okay. and chicken soup. Chicken soup, there right. you go. And the uh, Temple Judea, across the street mm -hmm. on Moulton, is bringing items from their gift shop, which are hard to find other places. Yeah. So in addition to that, we have a klezmer band and a group from the village of Israeli dancers led by wow. Rebecca Galad. So it's a very full, busy day. Now, I, you know, I'm looking at all the different things that you're gonna be having here and the wonderful sponsors uh, that right. you're gonna have. Uh, do people come in and do they buy food tickets? Is it admission? Exactly. How does that work? There's no admission. Okay. It's free to come. Okay. And then they buy tickets for food. Okay. So that the people selling food don't have to handle money. Right. And yeah. that way, this dish costs two tickets or whatever right. it might be. Right. All right. And uh, this is something last year, as you said, it was very popular. And so therefore, you've expanded everything this year. And all the different kind of foods that you're going to have there. I, I love that you're going to have Dr. Brown soda. You've got to have that, right? The Actually, cel the we, celery soda? We couldn't get oh, that couldn't this get year. That? No, All we right. found that out after the flyer was made. Oh, um, that's the, good stuff. It is, yeah. but we have, we have substitute things, okay. so it's good. All right. Yeah. And um, you, if people want to shuttle bus, uh, just to tell everyone, this is over at Clubhouse One, so it's easy to get to. Right. We didn't do this last year because we didn't know it was going yeah. to be a problem, but we've arranged to use the employee's parking lot. And how you get to the right. employee's parking lot is you go up Moulton mm -hmm. and you turn on... Um, Via Campo. Yes. yes. Yeah. Via Campo. And you just go up to the top and turn left and we That's have great. two Agewell shuttle buses nice. that we're renting. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now today you, you brought us... What I are these? brought you rugelach. Okay. That's one of the th the three things that the people in our temple are making. They're making uh, coffee cakes and mandelbrot, which is an almond, generally I never, an I didn't almond know what that cookie. Was. Yeah. Okay. It's like biscotti. Okay. And right. rugelach, which a lot of people's grandmothers have made, but it's not so easy. So. We even had a workshop on how to make them. Wow. So, yeah. So, so it's a time consuming, but appreciated. Very much. Now, uh, you're also gonna have raffle prizes there. We do, we have a whole table of gift cards and gift certificates. And uh, 
people can put raffle tickets in bags and then at the end of the event we'll draw the winning raffle mm -hmm. ticket out of each of the different bags and then call the folks and they can come and get their prizes. We've put lots of gift cards together so people are going to be getting wow. um, yeah, I mean, so if they that win, are, that are, they're worth a lot. Yeah. So yeah. that will be a, a separate thing that people will buy raffle tickets for right. and then put them in the, the container they hope to win. Exactly. Or all of them or whatever right. they'd like to do. Right. Now, where is that money going to? Are, is it a fundraising? It's a fundraiser for the temple. Okay. Um, what we collect in dues, because mm -hmm. our dues are very nominal, Okay. doesn't cover our expenses, hence we yeah. have to have a fundraiser. Okay. So this was a fun fundraiser last year. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, with all the different food there, uh, you could have people, it's going from um, 5 to 8 p.m., so come That's hungry, right. and you can just eat all kinds of different things. They can, yeah. and they could buy things to take home. Oh, We're prepared to wrap nice. things up that people would like for another meal. That's really nice. It is nice. With all that good food there, you want to maybe have a little snack late at night when you get right. home. At least right. I would. <laughs> and uh, last year we didn't have enough seating, so this year we're also having seating on the grass uh, with tables and chairs okay. on the grass in front of Clubhouse One in, in addition to the patio. Okay. And this year we're not opening the doors until 5 o'clock. Okay making sure everything's set up, yes. ready to go. Right. What, what are some of the more popular items, or is just kind of random what people like? No, I think the brisket and pastrami sandwiches yeah. are, are the most Well, I've been to Tommy's items. before, yes. and I remember when they were uh, located in uh, different areas. There used to be one up by us, but uh, it closed down, but now it's down at Bagel Me. That's right. Yeah. They share the same space. Yes, they do. Right. So if you want to go over there, and it's kind of a two for one, you know, get some good bagels and, right. and lox and, uh, and then get a pastrami sandwich and matzo ball soup. That's actually why I went there last time. Oh, really? Yeah, they well, do you good could matzo come ball to soup. our food yeah. festival and get uh, matzo ball Get a little bit of everything. Made by the folks from Chabad. Well, look, you know, we want to just mention that you got some wonderful sponsors that are helping you out this year, which is uh, always good. And, um, you know, there, you've got several, and uh, they all participate and, uh, you know, give as far as, like, raffle prizes and things like that. So that's, that's really nice. It, was, it is nice. We couldn't do it without our yeah. sponsors. Yeah. So, again, this is June 2nd at Clubhouse One from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And they're, uh, do they need, uh, I know it's free admission. Do they need to RSVP or just show up? No, nope, they should just okay. show up. Hungry. Right. Yes. We're ready for them. Yeah, very right. hungry, for sure. That's going to be a great event. Thank you for bringing these in. I'll try these in just a moment. They look wonderful. Did you, you made these? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate it, and thank you for coming on. Uh, I know you have lots of different events throughout the year. Do you do, just do the food festival once a year, or do you do something else? We do a couple of other events yeah. as well. Yeah. We usually have a trip to the Segerstrom to see a musical mm -hmm. and, uh, and an, another event. So we are a busy synagogue, lots yeah. of things going on. Yeah, always good food, that's for yes. sure. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you. I appreciate it. And again, folks, this is coming up uh, uh, very shortly on uh, June 2nd, Clubhouse 1, 5 to 8 p.m. Just show up and, you know, bring money, of course, so you can buy tickets, get some raffle prizes, and have a wonderful evening. We'll be right back.